Hey everyone, this is Sohini with Double Lab, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn about the Amazon Comprehend Medical. So to get started, make sure that you navigate to AWS console and then search for Amazon Comprehend. And once you do that, you're going to come to this page, and here we see about Amazon Comprehend Medical. So in the previous videos, we learned about what the Amazon Comprehend is. Um, so it's a pretty simple natural language processing service that uses machine learning to find insights and relationships in text. It can detect entities, it can detect certain tags and certain um, categories inside of an unstructured text. Um, so that what it is um, in simple language. But let's understand what the Amazon Comprehend Medical does today. So to get started, we'll move on to what is Comprehend Medical. We'll go to what is Comprehend and then we'll hit on Amazon Comprehend Medical. So this is our page where we'll get all the information from. So um, here we can understand what this is. So this returns useful information in unstructured clinical text, such as a physician's note or discharge summaries, test result or case notes. So to give you an example of this, I will go to the real time analyzer that they've already got. But before that, let's just see what this is. So we quite understood what it can do. And what are the um, text analysis APIs that we've got? So through detect entities, we can detect um, a patient's anatomy, their medical condition, their medication, their protected health information, their test treatment procedure, and time expression through the detect entities um, version 2. Um, as far as I have read, I think the detect entity normal version is deprecated for now. So when you go to their dictionary, you can find it in there. I will hit stitch that link on the description below so that you can read more about each and every method of the APIs that we've got. And we've got detect PHI. PHI stands for protected health information. So this is something that could be detected from a a patient's prescription or medical data um, using the Amazon Comprehend Medical and we can also do batch analysis of up to um, I think this was 10 GB of documents um, at a time using the text analysis batch APIs for Amazon Comprehend. So this was the text analysis APIs. We've also got ontology linking APIs. This is purely medical stuff and this is super helpful for doctors and hospitals out there. So if you now go to infer ICD 10 CM, so this is to detect possible medical conditions is entities and link them to codes from the 2019 version of the International Classification of Diseases. But if you refer to infer Rx norm, this is used to identify medications. So this was for medical conditions as entities and this one is for medical uh, for the medications that are listed in a patient record is entities. For now I think you know this much basic knowledge is quite useful so if you see that this is well suited for certain scenarios like these whereas the infer icd 10 cm is really good for certain scenarios like this so let's um just take a quick look at what are the things that we can detect using the infer icd 10 cm linking what are the medical conditions that we can detect so we can detect the diagnosis the negation sign symptom direction system or in our site and equity um so these are the stuffs that we can detect so if this is the example input text um let's say this is what this is about a patient who was told about their medical problem and they've listed their medicines so this is what we can detect as i said the entities would be medical condition um then we'll be able to detect the trade of symptom um, this is a symptom then the type the um also the description like what were the medical problems that person were having so i think that is what infer icd 10 cm does so you can just go to this website and check more about this whereas the infer rx norm would help you to detect the medications that were provided to that particular person so if uh, like these are the attributes that it can pick up and i think this is super cool because it can pick up your dosage of medicine your duration form frequency rate route or mode and strength you 
can read more about this through the documentation. And if this is the um, input prescriptions text, then it's going to give us like this is how the um, API request is going to look like the API call. And this is how the response is going to look like. So we've got fluoride. It's a medication. It's a generic name. Then we've got all of these strength and how much confident it is about this, the dosage, the form the uh, frequency and then we have got the names of all the medicines inside of the rx norm concepts these are the traits um so here you can see the components also listed and yeah so i think this is how the api call and the api response is going to look like for infer rx norm and ontology linking batch analysis can also be done so in this section you can just pass in a document that consists of 20,000 um, characters um, of you know all the medical information and all of those can be analyzed so that's batch analysis so i think these two were the most important parts that i wanted to discuss in the um, documentation part now let's sign into the console and let's go to amazon comprehend let's hit on the real-time analyzer so there you go so this is the entities the normal entity detection that can be done through this input text this is how it will look like isn't it cool can you imagine if this was used in a hospital then how much great this would have been so we've got the age of the woman we've got the profession and all the other stuff through the entity detection um, procedure so this is what we've got and if you navigate up words and go to rx norm concepts and as i said through rx norm you'll be able to determine the medications of that particular person so these are the medications they were provided um, with respect to this input text and these were the dosage and the other attributes you know frequency rate that we just discussed a few minutes back in the previous documentation page um so this is how it's, it's going to be and when you hit on application integration you'll be able to see the api call and the response of that so same goes for icd 10 same concepts so when i hit on this um this is what you'll be able to see and the name of the diseases um, that this person has been diagnosed with and what could be some probable symptoms that this person could have so these are those and as you can see they are listed the results are listed in below and this is how the api call is going to look like and the response is going to look like this so i think um, this is quite cool so you can do this in real-time analysis mode or let's say you want to you don't want to use the aws console for doing this operation you want to have a separate software for your own organization company hospital that would just perform this task so for that you need to write a piece of code to integrate this entire process in your application and we will do that in node.js in our next tutorial till then stay tuned and if you have any question do let me know on the comments below and if you really like this tutorial to give a thumbs up. that's all for today thanks for watching